This is JBLE TV, your place for news on the installation, for service members, and our community. Once everyone returns from the evacuation, our entire team will be uh, working to get travel claims uh, taken in and uh, paid out as quickly as possible, as uh, well as to also render any assistance that anyone may, might need after the storm. Yes, there are um, a couple forms that will need to be done upon return. Uh, the first is going to be a DD Form 1351-2, that's your standard uh, travel voucher claim. Uh, that will need to be filled out. Um, also, there will be a checklist on there just to make sure everyone indicates anything they may need. For anyone who receives an advance, um, a cash advance, uh, prior to their departure, um, we absolutely have to have a trial voucher done by them so that we can determine what money needs to be recouped by our office that wasn't used or that the member is not entitled to. The most necessary receipts that we're going to have are going to be your lodging claims because we absolutely have to have those in order to reimburse anything. We will hold mass briefings for everyone on the base. Um, these briefings are open to, of course, any uh, military members as well as their dependents um, and also our civilian and NAF employees for the base and their families. Uh, during these briefings, we'll go over how to fill out the travel claims. Uh, we'll be doing those probably for about a week or two after, the, after that, and then we'll be, of course, be able to do one-on-ones for any uh, claims that may be delinquent after that time. Mm -hmm. 